Hey everyone, uh, during this pandemic, it's a lot of rule changes, a lot of effecting in the mortgage world. So we had a lot of questions asked um, to us as the agent, but unfortunately we really cannot answer the mortgage question. So today we invited Jeff from Homebridge and Stephen oh. Hope from Quantic Bank. They, are, they know mortgage inside out, so we're gonna have a few questions to you guys. Hey guys. Good. Hi. Good morning. Hi. So uh, let's start with the the biggest question right now. What's the current situation with the mortgage? The ninety day period. The grace period. Garments talking about um, is everyone getting it, or is the process to getting it? Um, how how are they getting it? Uh, Jeff, I want to start. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, so um, you know, this this news was announced. Uh, I I recall very clearly on uh, March nineteenth or or eighteenth, one of those two days, uh, and that was a very uh, instrumental day for all banking or all finance. And uh, the moment that was announced, um, uh, you know, for us, we're a local bank in New York, and uh, we have a lot of local clients. Clients would come in person and ask these questions, uh, and they've been affected by the pandemic. So. When, when you've been affected by the pandemic, that's almost out of your control. Uh, you may lose a job, especially if you work in the restaurant industry or you work in a, uh, what, you know, what we call today a non-essential industry. And, um, you know, there's, that's, a, that's a very large population of people. Um, so you immediately get, get a call. And at first, we don't have the answers. We, we, were, we were just like everyone else watching the news. And we hear this news and we're all looking at each other at the bank and thinking, are we allowing this? And um, <clears throat> we, we slowly got notification uh, from, from our local government, right? And, and they, they posted a, a bulletin. And, uh, you know, what we did was we, trans we translated that. So, every, so what's happening is every lender who uh, was, is working their own what we call modification and that's, that's what's going to happen is if you have an inability to pay your mortgage you and you need a 90 day grace period or 90 day delay and in some cases some may need more um, we're going to modify your loan we're going to rearrange the terms of your loan in some way uh, so every bank has their own policy on how they do that um, i will tell you it's not it's not free it's not free, meaning you may not pay for three months, but there's going to be some cost to have that uh, deferred payment, if, if, you, if you want to call it, because that payment that you're not making, it doesn't disappear. It usually gets added to the principal. It gets recalculated into your balance. So if you owe a certain amount uh, for three months and you're not paying it, we're going to add that to the principal, or, or in most cases, that'll be added to the principal, and they recalculate the the entire mortgage terms based on the total new principal amount, and um, that's when you. But but for, for us, you know, you can choose which which different payment options you want, um, and and that's that's how we've done it. Uh, we've actually created a specific phone number for these type of calls, and you know, we've accumulated a list. And we will contact each customer individually uh, who, who, who's in need. So, you know, we, that's, that's what we did. And because, you know, we are, we are getting these calls and it's becoming more and more frequent as, you know, as, as this uh, pandemic progresses continually. Okay, because a lot of people uh, think this is uh, like almost because it's a government uh, policy, they think it's automatically that um, they can, you know, just, pause their uh, mortgage payment or but it still need to get approved by your individual bank so absolutely yeah don't, um let, let's let's not make the same let's not make the mistake of you heard it on the news let me stop making my payments today uh, i'm fine i heard you know the, the 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 trump said this so what what uh what you have to do is um you have to call your bank that you have your mortgage with and you have to ask him if they have a, you know, a, a modification uh, a program, or you know, or, or we make, you know, there may be a name that's been that's going to be created 
uh, for, for what's happening. They, may, they, may, they might call it the, the 90 day uh, defer payment rule or, or, or you know, what have you. But um, I think the first thing to do is call your bank. Um, not every bank has created a policy yet. Um, so there's going to be some that will will tell them we haven't created the policy. We'll keep information, you know, something of that nature. So it's it's so new. It's very new. I mean, this was uh, only about a week ago that this happened. How about um, you, Jeff? How about Homebridge handling it? Uh, same thing. Uh, I asked the national lenders, just like the big bank. Just like what Steve said, it's it's a new thing the government just, just announced. So banks are going along with it, creating their own plan. So I have a lot, same thing, a lot of clients call me, Jeff, so I'm going to start paying my April payment now. No, that's not the case. Uh, first thing I want to address is the, the message the government sent me on the, on the Obviously, you can also, it says 90 days, uh, mortgage payment waived. So when people see waived, that means it's it's canceled, erased. And I tell them, no, it's just the way government was, was saying. Uh, this actually, it's called a forbearance in a way. Forbearance just means it's deferred payment. Um, so obviously, based on each individual situation, uh, you provide the proof that you're out of job or you really can maintain your mortgage payment. Uh, you know, you call up your bank, get them approved. And then they'll, they'll, based on your situation, they'll approve you or not. But that time frame and the amount is based on each cases. They always have this. It's, it's, not, it's nothing new. It's just that the government made it easier for you to qualify for a 90 days period and for banks to easily accept you because of the current situation. You know, nothing we can do. It's not the fault of their own. It's people lost their job because of the pandemic. Now, what that means with the forbearance is uh, if, you, if you don't pay your April, May, and June, doesn't mean you you for, for gave those three months of application. On July, when you make your four payment, you're making all four payment that the entire in entirety. You have to pay back, or maybe like Steve said, you know, their cost to them is not free. Maybe they're added to your principal some way or another. Remember, banks gonna make money. Uh, they're not just gonna forgive your payment just free like that. Um, yeah. it, they just want to work with you because they don't want to default alone. So to make it easier, you know, they understand that you're out of job or you have a situation where you couldn't pay, and they'll think of a plan for you. But just like Steve said, you know, banks is, is going along with this. They're coming up with their own guidelines, their own plans, uh, how to structure this. Uh, once, you know, they have something you know, confirmed or structure, then they'll stand out for their own current, uh, you know, the borrowers. But for now, Anyone who is struggling financially, definitely, yes, give your bank a call. Uh, either your loan officer or the mortgage statement that you get on the top will have your customer service number. Give them a call. Let them know your situation and what's going on. If, if they require proof, try to get them approved. And then, yeah, have them, you know, work out a way, either defer the payment or maybe a lower payment so that you can get your feedback and then, you know, obviously uh, later you're able to pay the payment regularly. Okay, so still calculate everything, then it's not free, and it's uh, also not risk-free, because we don't know how this is going to affect everything else. Um, so, and also, if you really, really need to do it, do it early, because I heard one of my friends trying to call their bank. It's 11-hour waiting, and next day he called, it's 24-hour waiting. Oh, so, you know, 24-hour waiting on the line, and you just have, you know, it's, it's, it's hard. It's hard, guys. It's, everybody experiencing it. But it's doable, but please, please make sure you get that confirmation or in email or in the black and white. Then you start, then you start doing it. Just do not do it as soon as you heard the news. Right. And also, uh, I guess, reminders, uh, when you do call, obviously ask all the questions. Don't just say, oh, so I could, I could defer my payment or I don't have to pay. Ask how this is going to affect me. Uh, Credit-wise, how are they going to report this as a negative you know, uh, reporting on my negative credit report? Or is there any fees involved? Or uh, how, how, am I gonna, how is this going to affect me later on as a borrower uh, you know, for, with the current bank? Uh, what's my situation? You know, ask all the questions. And like Lynn said, you know, do, it, do it early. If you're really struggling, don't wait. Uh, don't wait trying to have the situation better. Uh, because if you miss the payment without calling, then yeah, obviously that will have a negative effect on your credit and everything. Yeah, don't don't miss the payment and then call because th there's no there's very little forgiveness there. 
you want to get ahead of it like you know what jeff was saying you want to get ahead of the curve if 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 uh if, if you if you already know that's happening um get organized put it put all the questions you want out there that's that's extremely important okay so um for the people out there that they're still thinking of refi and purchasing after the pandemic or they are in the process of getting a mortgage um how this covid 19 or pandemic affect them so there's like two questions here yes. right right <laughs> so, we so can how does it affect them uh, and then we can talk about how if they're already in the process or looking to buy how it's going to affect them because right now even as agents you know a lot of people for us, we're, we're non-essential workers, so we're not supposed to be outside showing or doing any kind of business, you know, physically, in person. So we've also been setting up virtual tours, but sometimes the clients, they still want to feel and look and be there physically to look at the house. And in order for us to get accepted offer and go on from there to get, um, have them get a mortgage, pre-approve, all of that, um, all of that nine yard, you know, how, what, like, what's, how can we go about that now? Um, so in terms of, are we, we're going to talk about refinance? Refinance, okay. yeah. Okay. Refinance, sorry, that was just like my other question. Oh, okay. Uh, Those are so, three questions. Yeah. So, so um, in terms of, you know, the refinance, um, you know, in, in this market right now where we are, we have a lot of volatility. And um, my suggestion is, you know, uh, and, and this is, a, a, un, again, it's unprecedented times. It's, it's definitely not something that we expect and we normally see in, in, in the market. So um, what, what's been happening in the last several weeks is you'll see a spike. And this is a, a, an extreme reaction on a daily basis. Uh, you'll see a spike in the rates and you'll see a drop in the rates. And that can happen same day few times a day uh, or it can happen daily. So um, if you are refinancing, um, no matter what the spike is, we are still historically in, in the low in the low rate ranges, you know, when you're when you're saying threes and four percent ranges. Um, so the number the rates are historically low. Uh, and and, um, and and I always tell my clients that if you have a number in your mind and you're comfortable with the payment, let's let's go ahead and lock it in. Uh, let's not get too greedy, okay? Uh, it's, it's, it's very exciting if you can get a rate in the 2% range, yes, but if you're comfortable with the rate and the payment, especially the payment that you're, you're getting for the refinance and, it, and it, it, it serves a purpose for you, let's go ahead and lock that in. That's my suggestion because um, we never know if it's going to go up tomorrow uh, and, that's, and, and, and we, we only don't know that because of where we are now, uh, the climate we're in. Um, there, there's so much so much news today uh, with this pandemic makes a shift in the in in the market and you know whether it's the bonds and the treasuries going up and down and the, and the stock market going going up 2000 points or it's dropping 900 points to overnight you know this can always have an effect on uh, on, on interest rates now going into the next question which is uh, how do we how do we do how do we do loans um, in, in this in this time uh, what we're doing now is a, a very common uh, is, is becoming more and more common uh, attorneys are doing closings uh, via video uh, we're doing we're doing we're allowing virtual notaries um, we've already adopted the e-sign you know in, in terms of documentation so you know there's already parts of the process that uh, there there has been created and we're, we're, we're kind of uh, adapting. Uh, uh, we, we even had a situation where there was a closing in the parking lot and there was documents transferred between cars. Uh, and that's, you know, that, that's, that's, that's called making an ad adaptation. And uh, we don't know if there's any transfer on the paper between the cars, but, you know, it, it, this, is what, uh, this is what we're trying, in, you know, in, in today's environment how to continually do business where everyone wants to be working. Everyone wants to come back to work. So uh, that, you know, that that's kind of what we need to do. We need to make adjustments. Uh, how do we, how do we, how do we keep distance and keep working? You know, 
uh, doing video conferencing, uh, uh, getting getting uh, different apps for your phone where you can scan with your phone. Uh, if you have, if you of course, if you have a home computer and and some home home supplies like printers and scanners, that that's helpful. But you know, let's uh, utilize all the resources we have uh, digitally. Jeff, has any you know? Um yeah, so regarding the whole uh, refinance question first, uh, yes, the rate is, is relatively low. However, overall, um, it is not the lowest uh, for, for various reasons. Uh, it is low. Uh, before the uh, pandemic started, I mean, you already see the mortgage interest is getting lower already. Uh, when the pandemic hits, yeah, the rates are going lower and lower. Stock market has fear, you know, the drop off, the sell off, it gets get lower. So, you know, it is low. However, there's a lot of clients saying, well, you know, why is the interest rate not the lowest? Uh, so I want to address the, the, all this concern and all this kind of misconception. Uh, First, the government, when they say they cut the rate, uh, they cut the federal fund rate. Uh, you know, it's pretty much that's the rate, you know, between banks where they lend each other and to control the cash flow in the economy, to tighten or loose, you know, to adjust the economy. That's not the same as the mortgage rate itself. So I have a client, you know, they want to refinance because they saw on TV, hey, the Fed cut the rate, interest rate to 0%. It's zero now. Well, I'm at, uh, think about it. How the bank's going to make money if they give you 0% interest? There's no point. Logically, it doesn't make sense. Uh, so it's a different kind of interest rate. And second, um, the rates are steady behaving in an adverse way where they, they, they're going up in a way when they should go down if you follow 10-year bond. But it doesn't because, you know, mainly because banks are losing profit, losing money. You know, bank, once they make the loan, they, they service them. Obviously, they hold it. The longer they hold, the longer the borrower stays the loan, the profit the bank makes. But to have the... The servicing, the bank still has to make payments to the investor, uh, monthly payment, while you know the borrowers still make the monthly payments to the banks. So if obviously you know if people refinance too quick before the bank can make their money, they are losing the upfront cost already. So that's why you can see bank there they're increasing their um, um, interest rate slightly to prevent uh, the the people that just refund or that just made the mortgage. Uh, prevent them from refinancing. So this is usually to benefit people that made the loan years ago when the interest rate was seven, eight percent. It's yes, it makes sense for the still refinance even with the slightly higher rate. But for per people that just made the mortgage last year when the rates were like threes or four, they they don't want them to refinance because they lose profit out of them and it doesn't make sense. So that's one way uh, they kind of kind of decrease uh, the refinance flow. So if people want to refinance that, you know, I was telling them, yes, okay, you know, get the loan in, have it ready. So when the market stabilizes and the rate gets normal, we could pull the trigger when we want to lock the rate. But if you ask for, if you want to lock the rate now and close, currently I want to recommend it because this is not the best, although it's low, but it's not the best time. Uh, but definitely have the mortgage in ready. So when the time is right, you could, you could get it right away. Instead of when the time's right, then you start putting your mortgage in. They don't be too late. Um, but the other question about the changes, you know, how do people get mortgage now? Just like Steve says, this is a lot of a ways, creative way banks are trying to do to adapt to the whole situation. Uh, virtual selling, uh, online, you know, email, fax, because, you know, there's no face-to-face -face meeting anymore. Um, so a few things I tell clients to kind of, kind of, um, be aware of is one, you have to know what documents the bank needs. Uh, for example, back then we could meet face to face. I could guide you, I could kind of sort out your document and present it in a nice, you know, neat manner. But now, because I can't meet with you, I can't really explain what W2 is. To be honest, you know, surprisingly, most people think W2 is the, the back of the the W uh, the tax form you know that they submit to the to, to they got from the CPA, actually it's the it's the form that your company sends you at the end of the year. So they they would keep sending me that. I tell them no, that's not W two. <laughs> w two is the one your company sends you at the end of the year. So you know that's an example why people have to start acknowledging, kind of know 
what documents are and what banks need and definitely having a digital format because we can't meet you had to get to me one way or another either email fax or you know maybe take a picture on your phone and a nicely light bright manner and send it to me so banks are finding ways closing like steven said virtual closing uh, virtual you know video notary and same thing e-signing um so other than that just kind of be aware of your 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 current situation and especially with the contract signing i see people kind of prolonging their closing periods and even people adding the whole COVID 19 you know pandemic related clauses in the contract to protect themselves and and also uh two things also i want to keep in mind is one like steve said the rates are very volatile right now so if you start the mortgage now you have to keep in mind it could go up it could go down so just have a mindset of that and second your entire loan process will be longer um, as you know no one's working right now lawyers stay at home title companies close appraiser can't just go to people's house to appraise anymore you know all these things can delay your mortgage process so those you gotta have to in mind that's pretty much it okay so basically when you want to refi just it's all come down to numbers um yeah you know just calculate it if that's still worth it to you then do it then i we we also gonna of course put all both of you's contact they can contact you anytime with email play chat um phone number so that's you know still doable but it's just longer okay. yeah incident or pandemic uh, and, and it seems like there's a cycle right every every 10 plus years there's some some type of cycle so um, there's always there's always like a well we you know there's always a light at the end of the tunnel there's always going to be a technology that's going to help assist and solve some of these uh, connectivity issues you know uh, the technology we're using right now is a booming technology, yes, uh, yes. right? Uh, yes. So, so you know, there is there's going to be some new technology, new information that's going to that's possibly already forming um, that is, is always a result of something negative, uh, so something unfortunate. Um, you know, uh, in, in the in the in the in the subprime market, uh, the the meltdown which was two thousand and um, eight. Um, you know, it, the 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 invention of Airbnb was created. You know, so little little businesses that uh, what was kind of filled the gap of of what's happening may maybe may be created. So you know, that's that's what we expect. Um, and you know, we're 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 always looking for finding ways to uh, continue doing our work we, we we need to this is our this is our career share so mm -hmm. it's something's going to be created or we're going to adapt to a different environment um and i and, and i think that's that's where we're going to that's where we're going to go okay renda you have any questions i don't have more well do you guys want to Go over regarding that uh, the the whole ninety days. Yes. Sure. Oh. Right. Um. Yeah. Oh, actually, I think the whole ninety days. The question: uh, yes. when when you get approval for um, the mortgage to get suspended for the ninety days, um, because every mor every time the mortgage bill comes, um, it's split up between the principal interest, and then you have some money that you have to put it for escrow and then there's um property tax payments so when you get those suspended for 90 days and you get approved for it it's i from what i believe is it just a portion of it is it just the principal and interest that you have that you get um that gets deferred let me go sorry um i think uh what's what's happening and every lender is going to be different here um, everyone's going to, every lender is going to have their own way of producing the proper documentation for the homeowner. Uh, I could tell you that, 
um, in, uh, uh, for us uh, here, here at Quantic, what we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're going to ask we're gonna escrow for you. Um, some lenders may not do that, and what and what I mean by escrow is if you, if you're currently having your mortgage, ta- uh, real estate taxes, and homeowners insurance being paid by the bank, the bank will continue to do that, and they'll defer everything, not just the principal and interest, but they'll also defer the principal, interest, taxes, and insurance uh, for you. Um, how that's going to actually come out? Uh, perhaps we can, you know, do this at a at a, at a, at a, at a near future. Uh, where where these actually do get produced, you know, since we we are very new um, and, and it's happening relatively recently. So uh, I would say if so, someone does apply for the uh, the, the forbearance and modification uh, the, the, with the deferment, um, it, it'll it, it could it could be in an April or it could be in a uh, May statement, um, um, but definitely we'll have a agreement uh, form formulated. For uh, you know, for the for the homeowner, it, it won't just be a statement. It'll be a formal agreement that's signed by the by the homeowner. You know, uh, giving them the new terms. Is there a bank attorney required? Um, n- no, but I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't. You know, I wouldn't dismiss having an attorney. You know, uh, present uh, if if you want. You know, some 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 your your own legal advice because. What we're doing is we're we're having a, a, almost a contract being drawn up uh, for for this bar, and, and we're and we're in, in, a, in, in other words we're rearranging uh, your your mortgage a little bit. If you want to have an attorney, it, it might it, it's it's likely a good idea um, because it it is uh, some legal information. You are you are likely going into a new payment arrangement, so uh, if if there's some terminology you don't understand. By all means, take it uh, take it to to your attorney. Okay. Jeff. Yeah. yeah, same thing was still saying. Yeah, definitely contact your um, you know your current mortgage lender. Uh, every bank's different; they have their own you know set of guidelines and the way the proceedings. Um, so yeah, if you know, definitely. Uh, don't wait, and obviously, if you have any you know, you know problem with your current mortgage, reach out, you know, and then find ways to work with your bank. And if you get your loan from any loan officer before, maybe you can reach out to them instead first. Uh, maybe yeah. get more information uh, because you know calling the bank is extremely long right now, and a lot of because. Um, my banker from Chase Bank told me their uh, Indian customer service support center shut down. Um, wow. That's why it's so the call of volume is all come t- back to the states, and because of the distance requirement, then they couldn't have enough people to work in the call center. Um, that's another reason it's been really, really extremely long wait, even for anything. Um, that's my experience with Chase because I had to call them. I'm sure other other bank that uh, it's the same. Like um, so, just call early. If you have any questions, or call your loan officer. Even right now, with like um, uh, we have, we're working with short sales as well. Even those banks, the the loan servicing companies, they are not taking any calls at all. Like yeah. if you try to call them, they're just like, you know, we're due to this pandemic, we're not taking any current calls, and just to go online and do everything online. Right. In a way, banks are buying time because they, you know, as Steve said, it's new. So they don't have a solution or, yeah. a, or like a perfect guidance for it. And obviously, there's a lot of volume, so they also got to slow it down. They, they, you know, they can't assist with all this customer and demands. So that's why. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Steve and Jeff, to uh, Thank have you. precious time Thank you. <laughs> talk to us in this Anytime. country. time. And, uh, you know, we're going to maybe collect more questions as time goes on. Like you said, it may be have any new form come out. Hopefully, we'll be have every bank have it online. Then so it can be faster that way. Um, but maybe in the near future, we'll invite you guys back to answer more questions. Sure. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Stay safe. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Okay.